Hi everyone, my name is Lauren and welcome to my channel, Personalize My Planner. I love my Happy Planner, but I have to admit that when I first opened it, I was a little overwhelmed. I wasn't sure how to use the space to optimize it to fit my schedule and my needs. And one of the things that overwhelmed me was the planner sidebar. So today I'm going to show you some ideas that I came up with for using my planner sidebar. My goal is to make my planner as effective as possible, but at the same time leave room for being a little creative with decorations. So I've been brainstorming ideas on how to set up the different areas of my planners. And last week I focused on the various ways to set up the three sections of my planner. But today I'm going to be focusing on the sidebars. So I feel like the sidebars can be set up to help create a focus area for that week or just to use them as an area to for maybe lists or notes. And I'm trying to remember that no matter what I choose as my preferred sidebar for that particular week, I can change that to a different sidebar set up the following week if that week's plans would work better with something else. So if I wanted to focus on healthy habits, I could use the sidebar with listing those habits with an area to check it off each day. So a healthy habit that I may want to focus on for the week is drinking eight cups of water per day by using a bright large sticker to kind of pull my eye over to that part of the sidebar. And I can keep reminding myself to drink water and to keep track of it using this technique. And it also frees up space if I don't want to include my hydrate stickers on each day. You can use this concept to also track things like your vitamins or your medication that you may need to take. A healthy habit that I might want to focus on for um, the week may be exercise. So maybe I want to plan in my cardio or strength days. Or maybe record how many steps I've walked. I can also track my calories. Write down your calories for breakfast, lunch, and dinner maybe for each of the days if that's a goal that you want to achieve. And if you want to plan out your meals for the week, maybe you want to put that in the sidebar and then write down the meals next to each day. You can also write down your shopping list and you may want to use something like a post-it note or a removable sticker in case you want to take this off before you go to the store. You could even take this page out maybe if you don't want to bring your whole planner to the store. Or you could maybe take a photo of your shopping list with your cell phone before you leave. And since uh, um, Christmas is coming up, I came up with an idea for tracking gifts. So on here you could list the different recipients and write down the gift that you're planning on getting them. And then maybe the, um, the amount of money that you want to spend on it. If you're trying to tra keep track of money. And then, uh, or maybe just like brainstorm different ideas for gifts for people. And then check it off once you have purchased that gift. 
You may also want to use your sidebar to organize your bill payments. So here you could write down which bill you're tracking. You could write down the date that the bill is due on and then the amount that the bill is for. And then once you're, you've paid off that bill, maybe you want to check it off just to keep track of everything. Another idea for tracking finances is to write down your expenses for each day. So you could write down the amount and maybe the store that you went to to kind of make sure that you're not going over your budget for that week. You can also use your sidebar to track your chores. Once you've completed that task for that day, you could just check it off. And that way you're able to fit a lot of different tasks into your sidebar. And if you want to use your sidebar for goals, you can um, just list off the goals that you have for that week just to kind of keep you on track. One of the goals that I'm working on is to try to be more appreciative of um, what I have. So I'm going to start writing down five things that I'm grateful for each day. So. I thought maybe it'd be a good idea to include this in the sidebar so it doesn't take up space in the rest of the planner. So you would just write it down one through five for Monday through Sunday. And you can of course use this for just your weekly to do things that don't necessarily apply to an individual day, but apply to the week as a whole. And you may also want to prioritize those tasks using the strategy that I discussed in my previous video, A1, A2, B1, based upon how important those tasks are so that you can focus on the most important task first. And then of course, you can use it for notes, brainstorming different ideas. Maybe if you like to read a lot, you can keep track of the different books that you're reading that week. If you're a student, you may want to use this to keep track of upcoming assignments. This can kind of Draw your attention to those tasks that are coming up in the following week so you don't have to write it down on each individual day. If you want to track car maintenance, you can include that in your sidebar. So here we have checking the air in your tires, your oil, your brake fluid, your transmission fluid, your power steering, your windshield wiper fluid. just to keep you on track in maintaining your car. I also like to use this space to place a sticker to motivate me throughout the week. And you can also combine different tasks onto the same sticker. So exam for example, if you want to combine your chores with maybe some goals that you have, self-care, to really try to customize the space in a way that works for you. Another way to maximize the space is to combine 
different focuses. So for example, maybe you're a student, so you want to have the sidebar used for different upcoming tasks in school, but you may also want to plan your meals. So you can place both of these in your sidebar, and then that frees up space for the rest of your week to write down the things that you have to do. So there are, of course, a lot more ways to use your sidebar than what I have come up with. I would love to hear your ideas, so please share with them with me in the comments below. I hope you have an amazing day, and thank you so much for watching.